doctor said there's something rotten in Denmark. Everybody here in Denmark works for the government. The kids don't graduate from school, and nobody wants to work. These are statements made by Trish Regan of the Fox Business Network, who compares Denmark to Venezuela on her show. She states that something is rotten in the state of Denmark. Well. It seems that something was forgotten about the state of Denmark, and that would be facts. Because they're heavily in debt, but as of 2013, only three of the country's 98 municipalities actually had more than half the population working. That study included both senior citizens and newborns. We might be Vikings in this country, but we don't force our babies to work. Amongst the working age population, more people work in Denmark than in the USA. According to the OECD, that is, 75% of the Danish working age population is working. In the US, it's 70.6%. So you guys just work more hours. Schools are not free. Nothing in this world, unfortunately, is free. We just pay for our schools, healthcare, daycare, and all that over the taxes. Students over the age of 18 do get paid up to $930 a month, not $990 as you state. The politicians decided way back that it was important to invest in young people and their education. So it's true that some students tend to graduate later than anticipated. A recent study found that the number is declining, however, and it has been so for over a decade. Last year, the students spent an average of 5.4 years completing their studies, so six years or more is not correct. It actually used to be 180%, but not anymore. We have two tax brackets for cars, one for the expensive ones and one for the cheaper ones. The tax is 150% of the car's cost over a certain amount. If the car costs less than that, it's 85%, so a lot less. Still high though, and if you love big trucks and SUVs, Denmark will probably disappoint you. Nowadays, all the kids graduating from school in Denmark, they want to start cupcake cafes. <laughs> I hope we can agree that baking cupcakes is a noble task, and I salute those who aspire to open their own cupcake cafe. I wish Trish were right here, though, because compared to the U.S., we have a horrible, horrible cupcake cafe deficit. So, in that regard, it actually sucks to be Danish. <laughs>